I have now um, hand combed and carded up all of the um, 13 to 15 micron merino staples um, ready for spinning. So I'm going to end up, I'm going to start spinning that now. Um, I'm not going to be talking too much. I've still got a lung infection and when I talk too much I start coughing. So I apologise um, for not having many videos out lately but I'm just trying to get over this illness. Um, so I'm going to put some music on um, and I will show the end results at the end of this video. Um, and then I hope you enjoy it. Got some sparkle there, I don't want sparkle. Alright, enjoy. This one's going to have a lot of character. The buyer for this, she will be weaving a shawl and using it with the other one that she purchased last year. The other one is the same fibre and dye job, but it's got um, kid mohair. This one's just going to be a plain one. With the same colours. change out for another color The staples are very, very tiny, so I'm 
I'm just going to spin it as it comes. I don't want to lose any of it. The other one had a lot of texture as well. Bubbles and thicker bits, thin bits. This is also um, spinning in the grease. It's uh, from raw staples, not not washed. Um, apart from the dyed ones, they were washed and dyed, but the natural ones, like the white and the black, grey unnatural in the grease however the colored ones are still quite greasy but the lower the microns the more the grease and saying that I do have a 15 micron uh, fleece from knowing that is quite clean and quite, um, it doesn't have a lot of lanolin in it. Um, and it's not been washed. That is a beautiful fleece. I've only used little bits of staples from that so far. Kind of want it to spread as far as possible. It's luxury. She, they're not from just lambs. Um, she grows the mic, the low microns to adulthood. So pretty special. I don't want to waste it. There are a little bit of dirt still in these, so I'll just pick them out as I feel them. This one um, was originally carded from the staple. It wasn't hand carded first. So it's a little bit more lumpier. All the ones I did, um, I hand combed first and then carded which are the coloured ones. This one is directly from Noe, but then I've put it back through my carter 
to thin it and try to get it rid of as much lumps as I could and bam Hi there, um, this is the plying part of um, this yarn. Um, it is a lace to light fingering weight, so there will be probably a, a couple hundred meters out of this, even though it doesn't look like it's going to be. But um, we will see once it's all finished. I didn't have much of the colored staples left so I hand combed everything uh, and then put it through the carter um, and then spun it up so let's get started I'm going to ply it with some mulberry silk thread um, and then yeah, that's what I'm doing today. Um, so let's get started. I'm so tired. I keep falling asleep. So I'm starting to feel a little bit better from my chest infection. Still coughing a bit when I talk too much. Um, I have started doing setting up. Uh, sales for Monday Madness. Um, I had my first Monday Madness sale this week, which went pretty good. Um, I plan on having every Monday after as a ma Monday Madness sale, which will go for 24 hours um, from 12 a.m. to 12 a.m. the next day. Everything is going to be 15 to 20% off. Um, my Etsy shop will be updated for every sale. Um, <coughs> and so will my um, for, sale, for Sale album on my Facebook page. Um, any sales before the Monday Madness sale starts prices are retail, original prices. Um, what else? For now there hasn't been a lot happening except for I've been trying to finish and get into uh, some new orders. Um, 
made a couple sales and I've been crook um, and I've been working on this video um, I've also been working on a new line of um, yarn sets um, making up mini sets um, so it's a 5 to 10 using cheaper materials um, being able to get sell it at um, a much cheaper price um, so have a look on Etsy I've updated Etsy last night with all my new stock um, I have a bunch of um, a shell bunny fibre that I'm doing a trade order with um, an alpaca farm in Emerald, Queensland, Australia <coughs> uh, they bought a heap of fibre from a shell bunny um, yarn and fibre um, two years ago and they've struggled to sell it in their shop as there's not as there's not many spinners up their way um, so I've offered to make it into yarn and sell it for them um, then I get a little bit of a commission out of that and they get paid the yarn, uh, the fibre cost. So if you see anything on my Facebook page in the trade order, um, trade um, commission folder um, that you would like spun up or just as fibre, let me know. Um, I've got prices of the ones that I will spin and I've also got prices of what the fibre is cost and the fibre costs for those ones that I'm just selling as fibre. Um, those ones I'm selling as just fibre, the price of that goes um, directly to the alpaca farm um, I don't actually earn any money when selling it as fibre um, if you want to support me though you can order it as yarn Um, so I'm putting on these Monday Madness sales in hope to, um, save some money. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Um, save some money so I can go to my brother's wedding in August. Um, the travel fares are pretty expensive and um, I'm thinking I'll need around 400 500 saved for a return ticket with the train to go to his wedding and that's not any other expenses that's just travel fare um, so any help I can get from now to August money will be put aside for my traveling for his wedding Struggling with this lung infection. Uh, 
Uh. <coughs> what else? I was thinking if I do end up get enough money saved for this traveling, um, I might go up to visit mum a little bit earlier. Um, she said she's got, there's a uh, craft fair um, festival down her way, um, June, July. Um, I thought, well, if I could sell some of my products while I'm there, then I'll definitely probably have enough money to get home. Um, and maybe earn some. Um, so the option is there. Do I want to try and sell some stuff when I visit her before the wedding? Or do I want to go closer to the wedding? So they are my options. Depends on how much I can earn from now to then um, in these sales to if I can afford it pretty much. Um, I'm not sure how the government's going to go with the all travelling um, having to have the COVID shot um, certificates um, etc to be able to travel um, so I need to keep an eye on that and the regulations and stuff it's not interstate so I, sh I should be fine um, so I'll let you know closer to the date if I'm going or not and where I will be during certain dates if you want to come and see me. Um, if you want to check out my products and, um, and stuff. Um, if you do see anything in the Etsy shop that you would like to purchase or like me to bring, please let me know. And I'll take them off Etsy and bring them up with me. Um, we can meet up somewhere um, at the Kingaroy uh, Festival or something. Uh, what else? I slashed... Um, the prices on half of my uh, mum and me garments so if you want to get yourself some some stunning um, garments made from my hand spun yarns um, and made by my mum go have a look on my Etsy shop um, they most of them have been slashed to about 100 to 200 bucks off. Um, others are $50 off. Um, and then when the Monday Madness sales pop up, they're a further 20% off. So keep an eye on there if you like anything um favorite it so when it does come on sale you do get that notification it's um free postage for anything hundred dollars over and over um australia wide um majority of the garments have free postage already um they're so pretty, um, and with winter here, um, 
there's a lot of winter warmers. But with me living in Queensland, in tropical Queensland, um, there are a lot of um, lighter garments for um, throws over the shoulder. Um, so if you go out for dinner, I think. Um, I have a ton of yarns available um, if you're interested in that. Um, so yeah, have a look. Favourite my shop. Favourite the items that you like. Um, and message me if you want to make any custom orders. I'm probably full up with custom orders, however, until after August. Um, so, yeah. stop it at that and I will um, share a picture of the end results um, when it's on the bobbin and then I will take another picture or two of it off the bobbin and washed um, this video will be out this week so I hope you enjoyed this one it's taken me about a week and a half to get spun up. I'm about um, less than halfway done on the plying. So this will take me another probably two days to get finished. Bye for now. Thank you for watching.